Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm participating in a thrift store makeover challenge put forth by Heidi Sonbolt and Jessica at Measure and Mix. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And of course, find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Here we go. These are the items I'm going to be using for this makeover challenge. The first is this large window that I bought at a rummage sale earlier in the season. It has a sticker on it from a local vintage shop for $23, but I only paid a dollar at the rummage sale. Then I also have this garland. It's the hearth and hand line from Target. The clearance sticker on it says $8.38, but I only paid $2 from Goodwill. I'm going to turn it into a wreath for this project, but first I'm going to give my window a good cleaning. Okay, this is my very fancy workspace um, known as my garage, and this is where I do a lot of my projects. Um, please excuse the storage behind me, but I'm going to go ahead and paint the frame of the window. I'm using Rust-Oleum chalk in linen white, and I don't feel the need to tape off the window because I have my trusty little razor blade. So when I'm done painting, I can just scrape the um, excess that gets on the window off. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done. I like to use these sponge rollers for this type of painting project. It makes the paint go on really smoothly. And you can see I'm not worried at all about getting the paint on the glass because I'm just gonna razor it off later. And I actually go ahead and give the window two coats of paint. Once I'm done painting, I go ahead and form my wreath. And I went back and forth about using a frame for it, but I really didn't like the way that it looked. So I decided to just kind of let it be free form. And I do kind of double up the garland and I use this floral wire to wire the wreath to itself. Some of the parts of the wreath where the ends overlap the other parts of the wreath, it was a little thick. So I actually snipped off some of those branches and wired them into other parts of the wreath so that it would be a little more evened out. And I really didn't want to use any hot glue because I want to be able to take it apart and use it as a garland if I change my mind at some point. So I was able to just accomplish the wreath without any hot glue, just using the floral wire. To attach the wreath to the window, I decided to use ribbon. I got this gray and cream buffalo check ribbon from Joann's. It's part of their new fall line and it matches perfectly in my house. So I cut a piece off and I decided I would double it and then glue it to the back side of the window. So I went to my window and made sure to measure so that the wreath would hang in the right place. And then I cut the ribbon to the right length. The next morning I got up and got my sanding block and my 150 grit sandpaper and did a little sanding with 150 grit that wasn't taking off enough of the paint. I didn't want it to be too chippy, but I did want it a little chippy. So I got this 60 grit and used just a little piece of it to sand paint off just on the edges. And you know, I don't know if that's lead paint underneath the white paint that I put on. So I wanted to make sure not to sand too deep. Then I got my razor blade and just razored off the excess paint from the window panes. I gave the window a good cleaning using some Windex to get the residue off. 
And then I took the wreath by the wreath hanger, the ribbon, and attached the ribbon to the back of the window using hot glue. And not pictured in this video, I attached picture hangers and wire to the back of the window frame so that I'd be able to hang it. And here is the finished project. I really love how it turned out. I'm going to hang it in the entryway of my home. I'm not sure how much you'd pay for this retail, but I'm pretty sure that it's more than the $3 plus the hardware to hang it that I paid. I hope you enjoyed my thrift store makeover. If you like this kind of video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And of course, find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Thank you so much for watching.